From Katy's Reef to the wrecks of Deep Bay, Antigua and Barbuda are bursting with opportunities for underwater adventure. But if you truly want to swim with the fishes, you can't get any closer than this. Stingray City. The best part about it is that you're in with the stingrays, it's all natural. Justin Moody Stewart manages Stingray City, the company his father started. And when you're shuttling up to 400 tourists a day to meet wild stingrays, safety is a priority. As long as you don't approach a stingray from the back where you can actually hit into that bar, it's safe. Moody Stewart points out that in 17 years, the company hasn't had a barb strike though suction bruising from what he calls a stingray hickey is more common. Every group is given a brief training on how best to avoid both hazards, and then we take to the water. The rays are literally everywhere. They'll come to you naturally just because we do feed them. They're kind of like the dogs of the sea. They get very friendly. And like your dog, many of these stingrays have names. The one with no tail, that's Jennifer. We've got Lulu, we have Stumpy, Samantha. It's like having 50 pets, you know? As I swim with Samantha and hold Lulu in my arms, it is clear the stingrays have adapted to all the daily attention. It's also clear that to the staff, these stingrays are more than just a draw for tourists. It's like a family, you know? Once the feed bucket's empty, both the stingrays and tourists head home. But we are treated to a sneak peek at the company's newest attraction for those who like things a bit slower. These are Aldabra tortoises. So they're the second largest tortoise species, second to the Galapagos. The biggest one we have here is only about 300 pounds. 300 pounds is still a lot. And he's about 62. They can live 200 plus years. Their heart rate, they, they could beat about six beats per minute. Maybe we could all learn a little something from that, slowing down a little bit, and then living longer. Time spent with these ancient creatures will reveal some pretty interesting facts. They are sensitive to touch on their outer shells. The young ones can be deceptively fast and some adults are prone to motionless posing that Moody Stewart affectionately calls statue mode. Though Stingray City purchased these tortoises, this space is considered a sanctuary since many have minor deformities and this is now their forever home. They're very friendly, so you can feed them. So you just want to give some pe people something different and it's peaceful. Across the island, overlooking St. John's, we found something different for those hoping to get a hands-on experience with local cuisine. Great thing about doing your own jerk marinade is you can determine how spicy it is. Nicole Arthurton Dennis grew up by the apron strings of her parents and grandmother in Montserrat before tragedy struck. One of the few people on the planet who can say, tragically, home and family business was destroyed in a volcano. In 95, the volcano started venting. My parents had to evacuate our home and all their businesses, and we just went where the wind blew us. So we were just thinking what would be a good thing to introduce people to our culture. So we do a jerk class where we do a starter, main course, and dessert, and then we sit down and eat family style out here on the veranda. Your food is described as Caribbean twist. What does that mean exactly? Out of laziness, because for traditional cooking, you're cooking all day, and I try to keep it as short a period as possible, so I make shortcuts. Shortcuts for time, but not quality, as students get the fundamentals of recreating Caribbean flavors with locally sourced and homegrown ingredients. But the atmosphere is relaxed, so that even the teacher can be taught. I might do it this way, but you can tell me another way that you do it. So we just come together over food and chat and have fun. And how does it taste? I like your twist. Okay. <laughs> Any thoughts of opening a restaurant? When you're in the restaurant, you're stuck in the kitchen cooking, so small, enough to like be able to come out and harass my customers. <laughs> The jerk style of cooking originated in Jamaica, though it has been adapted throughout the Caribbean, of course. Nicole and her husband had to shut down Nicole's table in March when the pandemic hit, but they reopened in December, taking limited bookings. In the meantime, Nicole opened a Meals to Go service and has been doing work as a private chef. Much more on that later. Up next, the changing face of sailing in Antigua.